So the next set of rounds starts off with the Wells Fargo Open and then the Valero Texas Open. And I will be playing both Opens, two rounds each, guaranteed trophies after the second round in each Open. So stay with me because there's going to be two trophies won in this next upload. And basically I did this on purpose so that you'll see that there is a way using the methods I've utilized ever since from day one to win those trophies back to back. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Back in the game, there we go. These connectors to the headphones sometimes don't work very well. Like you have to make sure they're all the way in there. Otherwise it's not gonna work right. Okay. I think we're good. We're gonna continue with this. Uh, I guess we're in the 12th, 12th hole now. For some reason I got knocked out and I couldn't get the whole second round so we're starting from the 12th hole. This would be my fifth trophy I'm working towards. So let's go ahead and continue. This is the Wells Fargo. That should finally cut stuff. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Let's see. Going with the pitching wedge here. I shut her up a little bit. Oh, absolutely flushed. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. Uh, too short. It's oh, disappointing. Wow. Shocking to say the least. How do you miss that? Well hold. Let's move on. <sighs> All right. Let's do this. Continue. Oh. Never used to do this in a while. Taking it sweet old time for some reason. John, what's going on out there? Well, I'm over on hole number 14 with Patrick Cantley at the moment. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. <laughs> Lovely if <effort> that. <laughs> Can you wrangle with that? Let's take a look what? at the leaderboard as it stands. <laughs> Our leader is that currently enjoying a full weird. stroke advantage. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's see what happens here right. at the 13th. Let's do this. Going with the three iron. Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. And now we go to the 18th, and this happened just a moment ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. Looks like he needs some is sunblock big there. On the scorecard. Oh. Let's see. Ah, oh, a little bit more. You was going pretty fast. 
So now we're going to have to do almost another half. And with that fine putt, yes. she extends her advantage over the field. No movement up Ooh. or down on the leaderboard for this player. But when you stand on the tee here at the 14th at Quail Hollow Club, Rich, you're given two choices. Do you lay up or go for it? It begs you to take out the big stick and go for it. However, most days, the play is iron out and lay it up down the right hand side opening up the green for the second shot oh I love that aggressive play of a tee shot right onto the green setting up miles from the hole pitcheroni time And just missed the hole. Oh, well played. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Oh, what a stroke. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. That one was fired out of a cannon. The interesting choice of the driver here. Yikes. And the player is left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Almost went in the bucket. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. It's safe. It's safe. I do see some sales. As you find your way to the 16th hole at Quail Hollow Club, you're reminded that you're entering the Green Mile. Again, only the long players can carry the bunker down the right hand side. Hit it out to the left, avoid that bunker, and give yourself the best opportunity to find the green in two. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I'm over on the 18th hole, and this is Patrick Cantlay setting up his next shot. So I'm working Let's on the fifth trophy down. at the Wells Fargo Championship. Off a string of three birdies. I've uploaded on YouTube channel um, all of the four trophies I've won so far. So if you go on, uh, it's called Gem Star Gamer. That's my handle on YouTube. You can watch for it yourself. Okay, here we go. No elevation. Going with the six iron here. This one is headed to the right. Yikes. Well, a little off the target with that one. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Well, it's just about three feet away. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. A couple more. 
and I'll have my fifth trophy. And then tonight I'll work on my sixth trophy, or the first round towards the sixth trophy, or whatever. Next championship tournament, two round. You've got to hit a number of big boy shots here at Quail Hollow Club, and none bigger than the tee shot at the par 317. Luke, time to step up and make the best swing of the day on this challenging par 317. Find the center of the green, and you're a happy player. Thanks. That's uh, a little why would need to take a little <laughs> less oh club on that approach. Goodness. Really? Now let's try the pitch this time. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. She's got this to save par here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Oh, man. I Just messed three up. Three feet to the cup. Crap. Punt is underway. Ugh. Yeah, you'll take that. Am I still Our in the first? Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Oh, still six up. Woo. Well, if you think you've no passed sweats. the worst of it after playing the 17th at Quail Hollow Club, think no again. What last? Yes, water going all the way down the left-hand side of this fairway. That bunker on the right has crippled many a player. Find the fairway uh... and give yourself an opportunity to find the green in two. Getting ready to play there. Unbelievable. Wow. Just like to see it there. For some reason. Oh, that was pure. Playing this oh, shot crap. from about 180 yards. It's terrible. Opting for the three iron here. Oh, gosh. She might be too disappointed with that. Certainly a couple of putts from there, and that'll be a good hole. Uh, we'll right on 20 feet. This is a great momentum putt. Oh, gosh. It was on a good line. Uh. Three feet to go here to the hole. Darn it. This one's looking good. <sighs> and that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. And that'll do it. Lovely start to the opening round. In top spot, but there's a whole bunch of people right over their shoulder. You're right, but they get off to a bad start. All of a sudden, things get interesting. Off to a good start, all of a sudden, it might give them enough confidence to carry on through to get the victory. Oh, well, on behalf okay. of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in. We'll have a chance. We'll see you next time. It's the first round. So, uh, get to advance. That's good. Continue event. Okay, so still get a chance to dig myself out of the hole. and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Wells Fargo Championship is about to begin. Please, you could join us for this final round action.
Hello, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam. And Rich, as this round begins, what are your Ooh, thoughts on this wind. particular player? Never easy going to bed with the lead. And they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I got to say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round. I know I can't wait. Down to the coverage. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. I don't have to. I, ha I choose to. That's a new thing I'm studying. Uh, trying to uh, change a more positive attitude instead of having to, choosing to. So I choose to make this hole. Yeah, right. Let's see. This one needs to kick left. Oh. Yep, that shot safely on the green. 13 feet to the hole. This one has eyes for the hole. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. And after that hole, you're currently leading JT by three. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun <laughs> to watch the round progress. So I'm still working on my fifth with confidence trophy. After that birdie, here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. My fifth trophy. I'm trying to religiously play two rounds every night, or at least maybe two rounds, and to gain more trophies cumulatively every night. Holy shankopotamus! Look at this shot! Oh my goodness! <laughs> second shot on the second. I think I did the same thing last time. I have no idea how that happened. Not a <laughs> Come on. You're gonna let me go up? Okay, here we go. Yes, go with the three on. Uh, and here we are with the third shot. Oh, man. <sighs> well, this is lengthy parts. John, what's she looking at? This is long, guys. 43 feet from my calculations to the cup. Gonna make it there? Holy moly. Let's go for it. See what happens. Steady on. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And down she goes. And after that what? hole, leading Justin Thomas by a stroke. What's blinking? Oh, that's all right. All right, let's go. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Darn bogey. That is right down the sprinkler line.
time to take a look at what's going on at the eighth. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, oh what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. Whoa, check this out. In fuego, dialed in, call it what you will. Holding it from the fairway. Thank you very much. Playing this shot Julian from about Marshall. 170 yards out. Julian Four miles. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. <sighs> Missing it long <laughs> with that approach. Not a good leave. Gosh. With a par on this one. <laughs> so with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And it's after that hole, it's Justin Thomas by two strokes. Yikes. Teeing off here at the fourth. Oh, I got my work cut out for me now. Opting for the six iron. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the fourth. And this effort from Patrick Cantlay just a short while ago. This is his third. Let's get back to it, shall we? Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Me too. Good looking putt. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. That Ooh. sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? And after that hole, leaving Justin Thomas by three strokes. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? No, really? Not really what they were hoping for there. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this line? Sitting up pretty nicely in the sand. Shouldn't have too much trouble getting out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and here we are with what the happened? third shot. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, what a pain. And here we are with their four. Ah, oh, this sucks. Another bogey. Darn it. Oh, these are good for the momentum. These ones right on eight feet. Nice stroke. Yep. Well hold for bogey. Got to say, oh. putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And after that hole, you're currently leading JT by three. That's still? Oh. Surprised. We have a par three on this one. Ow. Oh. Damn. Damn. 
Look at the drag. It's getting old, I tell you. Opting for the three wood. She played that nicely. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. She's got about 27 feet to go. Cozy it up to the hole on a long putt, isn't it? Okay, so that finishes that hole. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Pressure's on, pressure's Trying on. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that, and that will take him to one under. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. And after that hole, we're currently leading JT by a couple of shots. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Oh, seems we've got a big piece of that one striped. Oh boy. That's uh, a brave one. Driver off the deck. Oh. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> right in front of that guy's butt. <laughs> so oh my goodness, every like time. That, <laughs> judging it beautifully. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by two strokes. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Oh, almost went in. This putt coming up is for birdie. And that's their fourth <laughs> birdie of the day. I like it. Two in a row. Those birdies. Keep it going, right? Let's well, start to head back going. down to the fairways, John. What's up, mate? Down here on the 13th, fellas. This is Gary Pibbling's next shot. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. So after that hole. This is the current standings on the course. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by three strokes. Here we are at a short par five. I usually love getting after these holes. How do you like to play them? Such a good opportunity for this player to extend their lead. It is a gettable hole. They need to take advantage. Ooh, gosh. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Yeah, at least it's not in the bunker. Let's see a little slight elevation. Should do it like around there. Well, she looks like she's thinking about going for it. Too far. Uh -huh. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Jeez. Playing their fifth shot. Wow. And there it goes from the sand.
And here we are with the third shot. Oh boy. Got this little beauty. Nice touch. Yes, sir. Gets it to go. Thank you. What a shot. Let's go ahead and deal stink eye on another one. Eagle. Ooh, I got an eagle. <laughs> Didn't even know it was an eagle. Awesome. A lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Uh, absolutely, you dream of being in this position ahead uh, by a bunch with just a few holes to go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Good looking shot, this time for the second shot at the 10. Interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> far from the green here, just in the green side oh, rough. Yeah, roll green all the way there. Well, look, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. <laughs> Nicely done. Ooh, a nine foot chance here. Their short game has been very <laughs> impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. And nudge to the left. Mark it down. That's booty yes. number five. <laughs> Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, no. And this was Jim Furyk's effort from just a short time ago. <laughs> it's like, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Sharp hey, shooter from short range, isn't he? Yes! That's how you get better. Make mistakes. Okay, let's get back to the action. This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. Not as easy oh, and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. Sit. Sit. <gasps> Getting ready to play their third. This ball never sits anymore. What's up with that? How close was that to going down? Uh, All right. It was just about three feet away. This one started out on a good line. 
and the punt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Look at the narrowness of this thing. Absolutely tattooed that one. Ooh, right on the line. Here in the first cut of rough. Yes, difficult line. Uh, made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Sit. Sit. Stop rolling. Why do you keep rolling? This is ridiculous. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Now, from that lie, missing rolling. the green was always an option. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, man. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Almost went in the bucket. Looks like a oh, straightforward yeah. five footer to me. Oh. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. <sighs> She's currently in first position. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey. But here's an opportunity to bounce back. Let's see, this is a chance to set. Because it's looks like a drop down. Hopefully. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Third shot now. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. <laughs> this would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Maybe I'll put it. Close. Oh Close. man, I almost went in. This one's for par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Current leader is enjoying a six stroke advantage. Short par fours to me are one of the best holes in the game. Do you get after it or lay back? Do you attack it and try and increase your lead or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Hmm. That looks really chancy. I'm gonna go right there. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Mac, what's the news? Well guys, I'm over here on the 18th hole. This is Jim Furyk's next shot. They're in the bunker. Got a chance to get up and down? That takes great skill. Lovely shot out of the sand. Let's return to live play now. Time for the second shot at the 14th.
Nicely done. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And that punt will give them birdie number six on the day. <laughs> and after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Oh, that's a stunner. How well she swing it. And this effort by Justin Thomas. A few shots under par at the moment. In eighth position. That goes down for an eagle. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the 15th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. <sighs> Stop. <laughs> Sit. Why are you rolling? Your fourth shot. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to bird it. Let's see what happens here. Wow, look at this. See if this is even possible. Nope. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. <sighs> if she makes this, it'll be a good par. Looking good. Nicely hold. And for par. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Leading by five shots after that. Three holes remaining, this is what it's all about. Time to see who is gonna get it done. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. That drive was simply astonishing. I'm just going to keep it away from everything there. Going with the three iron. Oh, this would be handy if we could oh bounce away. Oh. Well, that Ooh. was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. And this punt is about 17 feet long. And mark it down. That's 30 number seven on the scorecard. Still in the lead now after that hole. <laughs> Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang five. on? Let's find out. Here we are in front of a par three. Here we go. I would rather be over there. Opting for the three iron here. That doesn't look good, Rich. Bit too far right for my liking. This would be a great up and down. Oh. 
shit. Oh my gosh. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> what the heck's going on here? Unbelievable. Ay, ay, ay. Freaking bogey. Quality shot, that one. Seven feet to the cup. Darn it. Well done. <sighs> and after that hole, you're currently leading JT by three. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. I remember this one. Well, I like the look of the line here. We should find the fairway. From around 180 yards out. to be going with the six iron. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. Trophy number five. Take that yeah. to the bank, Luke. Awesome. Why not take another look at that effort? Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf Trophy of Rich Bean, plus all our hardworking folks at HP Studios, it's for now. Fargo. Ooh. Colorful. Golden. That was a close one. I did my, uh, Put too many bogeys for this two rounds for some reason. Did not like it. The ball wasn't sitting very well either. It just kept rolling and rolling on this course. And I've played this course before, but I don't remember that. That's weird. Okay, let's go further. missing her gloves, the lucky gloves, that's why.
Where did all my players go? Oh, there we go. Whew. I thought I lost my players. right back. Hello and welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. We're at the Golf Club Championship. Today's coverage is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, I'm ready to get stuck into it, so let's go right into this opening hole. Opening hole here at Vaquero Valley Golf Course is a par five for the members. Par four, though, this week measuring at its tip, 531 yards. Bunkers need to be avoided, both right and left. Should you find the bunkers, you'll more than likely lay up to the right here. If you find the fairway, you have a very difficult shot to a well-guarded, well-bunkered green. All in all, if you make four here, you're gonna happily skip to the next tee box. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens.
Okay, back in the game. Let's take a little break there. You can understand some things. Pretty darn sure. Thank you for your patience. Let's continue. Ooh, this one. So we're working for the sixth trophy. We have a six mile per hour wind. I want to aim for the center, so I'm going to play it safe and go here. And let's see if she can set the tone for a good day. And the effort, that one. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Good choice. Go with the three iron. Set. Uh. And here we are with the third shot. Let's try puttering. Puttering it. In, I mean, cluttering it in. It's kind of hard to say. Let you do it. They made it. Off to a great start today. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Currently one under for the tournament. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So yes, birdie on the first, great job. Here we are at the second tee. Mm. That's interesting. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Elevation. Hopefully it'll sit. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Yes! What a putt! And back to the course with the live action. Lining up the birdie putt here. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. A well hold, he'll take the birdie. Back to back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Currently two <laughs> under <laughs> for the day. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. We need this one to bounce right. Well, I'm sure she'll take that one. We've already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. Gotta say, Putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And let's have another look at that one. It's 
really all about the geometry, I presume. Currently at three under for the event. The tee is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. I want to go here. More like here. That's heading into the rough. Oh, yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Okay. Going with the three iron. That's a good looking shot there. Good chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. Hmm. Look at all those people. <laughs> What a lovely putt to make. And that will take her to four under. And it's time to recap that play. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a short time ago. Lining up for his third now. And in she goes. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. This hole trophy is a par six. five. Orphan Torch, trophy number six. Wow, that was just striped. Yep, internet's going. It's lagging for some reason. Let's take a look at JT just a little while ago. This is how you do it, seven days a week. Nice putt to make that one. Well, this is a little bit of a birdie blitz going on from the player. Can they make another? It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. <gasps> two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Well, I like the look at this. Yes, that's eagle. A and an eagle as well. And that will take it to six under. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. And that makes her in a share of first. Here we are at the sixth hole. 
an eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, this flies. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Sitting at six under, currently tied for first place. This one's for Birdie. On a great line and racking up their fifth birdie of the day, and that will move her to seven under. And she's our leader. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Going with a three wood here. Well, oh, wow. One of the shots of the day, that's for sure. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. Nine feet to the cup. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back to back birdies. And that will take her to eight under. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, oh what a shot. And mark him down for a birdie. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. Our current leader is up by three shots. We have a par four on this one. about 100 yards. Drop that down. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Five feet coming up to the cup.
Ooh, nice line. Well, what an effort. And another shot to your lead. Leading by four strokes after that one. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Let's go for it. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? They are very deep into this rough here, guys. I can't even see the ball from where I'm standing. Look out. Yeah, that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. And here we are with the third shot. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Yeah, nicely played. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. Go in. And with it, she's going to extend the lead on the field. So Time now to make the turn to the and, uh, This is an with exciting part eagle. of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? I got to say, every facet of this player's game was in great shape today. Lots of golf yet to be played. Looking forward to watching it. It should sit, so I think this will be fine. Oh, that's a wild one. This one's heading over the stakes. Uh, Can yeah. get her another ball. That one's wet. Getting ready to play their third. Pretty good win. Back Bummer. into the player's face. What a bummer. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. She yeah, has this I remaining do. for her par. Good stuff today, it's especially safe. the short game has been really sharp today. It's tracking. Good putt there. Yes, safe. <sighs> Thought I was going to get a bogey there. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland. And here we are with the third shot. And choosing the eight iron here. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. And we've arrived at a par three. It's going to the left. Not coming back. Wow. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Oh, 
How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Ooh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. You've arrived at a par five. Oh, great swing there. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, they were in the first cut, and it kind of made its way down deep into it, so I don't know if they can get all that much onto this one. Oh, come on, you're better than that. And this effort by Justin Thomas, sitting at minus four, currently tied for fourth place. Oh, that's incredible. He's sold it. And that will take him to five under. Getting ready to play their third. Thanks. Yeah, that one will play. Good we'll look at Birdie here. Looking better. Always nice to hold those for a Birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. See where I'm going. Okay. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. That's uh, heading for the fairway. Let's have a look at this highlight. Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. This is his third. When a player hits a shot of that caliber, you just want to have another look, don't you? Okay, let's get back to the action. Second shot here on the 13th hole. Quite elevated. like they're going with the pitching wedge oh look at this right down the throat well that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that and this one for back-to-back -back birdies this one's looking good you just keep building a bigger advantage well played two in a row there Luke getting their groove on now seven strokes up after that hole. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. That should find the fairway.
Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. John, have you got a read on this one? Uh, looks like she's got about 28 feet to the cup. <laughs> That's the right pace. This should drop. And down she goes from outside the range. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Oh, too far. Darn it. This effort by Justin Thomas. Should have backed Trying it up to get a the bit. six under now with this putt. Well done. And that will take him to six under. Let's get back to it, shall we? Setting up to play the shot here from the greenside rough. Eagle. Eagle chance. Oh, that's great. It just missed the oh, hole. Oh, that's uh, a high cover. Literally. Shot. Just three feet to the cup. Well done. Take the bird. She's currently sitting in first place. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Might get caught up in the brush here. Oh, that impressed me and her. Coming off a string of four birdies. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, oh, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Well, you're going to be difficult to catch now if you keep holding putts like that. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. Look, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Oh, man. Well, it was wonderfully done. Three feet to go here to the hole. That was amazing. And with that fine putt, she extends her advantage over the field. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Holy moly. Not a bad line, this one. Wow, look at that elevation. Oh, 
move up a little bit more. Around there. Opting for the three wood. Or, oh. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it too and get rewarded for it. Putting for Eagle here. What an amazing yes. shot. Let's take another look at that. Let's take another look. Well, that was great. That was like a one in a million shot that far away. Yes. So there you have it. In the house, in top spot after the opening round. Everyone likes to get off to a fast start, and they certainly have. Yes, you always want to be in first place going into the final round. In saying that, it can be uncomfortable as we'll have to see how this player tomorrow handles the pressure. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studio. Let's go. Try to get through this second round to get the sixth trophy. That's what I want to do. I need to get six trophy. Hello and welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. We're at the TGC Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and down on the course, it's hello to John McCarthy. Hello Luke, glad to be with you and I'm so happy to be able to bring you things from my perspective down here on the course. No win this time. And let's see what she can do here today. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Going with the six iron here. That's some good golf right there. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Looks like a strong 25 feet. <sighs> oh. Hello, welcome to the course. Absolutely love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. She's currently in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That's an awful error. It's time for a highlight. Let's head to the 12th for this wonderful play. Tony Finau has got plenty of power, but he's also got plenty of finesse. Well, I'm always happy to recap shots like this. Let's take another look. Oh, that's a sensational moment. Mark that down as a highlight today.
let's return to live play now. Yeah, this lie is pretty deep here. It's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one headed left. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hollow long one. Still counts. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. The puck drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. So this is definitely a sitter. So let's see if we can... There's no wind. So let's see if this theory works that it should sit. Going with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. Yep. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. A bit short with that effort. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. And that puddle drop. Well done. And that puts her in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Excitement. It's starting. You can hear it. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, following Kevin Kisner at the moment, we're on the 11th. Now, that's a bad break there, Rich. Just probably a little bit too much pace. And back to the course with the live action. Butting for birdie. That's very impressive. That is definitely a confidence builder. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Beautiful swing there. This shot here from about 240 yards. Slight elevation. Let's see. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Would be nice to make this putt. This is for Eagle. Oh, she's making it look easy. Yes. She's holding putts with Will. Got to say. Putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Yeah. 
And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Oh yeah, this is a tricky one. What? Uh-oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. Uh, this one might just sneak off the uh, Let's take a look back at this just moments ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. And it drops into the bucket. What a shot. All right, this is going to be a doozy. Okay, let's, let's get back to the action. It's going to be mm, very John, interesting. What's this one looking like? Well, they ended up in the deep stuff, but uh, the lie could have been a lot worse. <laughs> can see. All right, here we go. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. That's weird. Strange. So that would be too much, I would say. Just didn't uh. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this Ooh, final round of match. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Only the seventh? Holy moly. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. Oh, so far off, yeah. <sighs> this would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? And she's staring down, uh, I'd say, a 24-foot putt from here. Wow, that's weird. Holy crap. So that's not half. It's kind of less than half. That's about half. Oh boy, here we go. That one had eyes Ooh. for the whole way. Why not take another look at that effort? Wow, I didn't think I was going to get that one at all. A quick break, I will be right back. Maintain on the leaderboard after that. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it.
turn on the microphone. Hello? There we go. I can hear myself at first. Strange. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we've got these little rocks. Yeah, let's say. Say here. Yeah. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Isn't this where they hit from yesterday? Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Let's see. Remember that every time I hit here, it seems to go too far. Let's not go far enough. That's too far, so I'm gonna back it up a bit. That. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Not afraid to go deep. This punts for six under par. Oh, absolute stunner. And what a way to jump into the top ten. Let's get back to it, shall we? Eight feet to the cup. I don't mind the look of this. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. She's our leader. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. That one's heading down Broadway. Luke. That did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. <laughs> Cracks me up when he does that. Still here. Should roll. Pretty much. Yep. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. And here we are with the third shot. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Outstanding approach shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. That starts off on a good line. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Let's go to our man, John, on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down on the 11th right now. This is Justin Thomas's next shot. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. What a play from the rough. Was hoping to get on the green and does one better. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Is a thing of beauty. Second shot here on the tenth hole. Oh, well done. 
11 feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. It's got a chance. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Get up a notch a little bit. Choosing the nine iron here. A wonderful shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This is a good chance. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Yeah. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Well, this one certainly shaves a few shots off the scorecard. What about the long range effort? Wonderful effort. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. I think I'm going to break my record soon. Oh, I think I broke it. I think my record was 26. And I after Bernie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. For two rounds. Hmm. Mm, a thing of beauty. Ooh. Second shot here on the 12th. <laughs> the interesting choice of the driver here. Not bad. Getting ready to play their third. Eagle. That's tiny. This part is of nine feet. Yep. Get excited. This could go in. And that's eight birdies today. John, give us a small update. Well, we're over on the 14th hole. This is Justin Thomas. Sitting at seven under par for the day in fifth place. Mm -mm. Handy out of the bunker there. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Uh oh. Really know how to golf your ball. Serious momentum of five straight birdies. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Or That's not what they were looking for. Distance control or. nearly impossible coming out of this rough. went in. It's just about three feet away. 
Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Mm. Working towards trophy number six. So she's maybe currently the in first position. So I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Good shot there. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And now, intrepid on course reporter John standing by. Well, taking a look at Gary Woodland's next shot down here on the 15th. And back to the course with the live action. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Hey. Wow, speed of that green. What an effort. And another shot to your wow. lead. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. No, I know. I really broke well, my record. Well, now we record. find ourselves in the of a short par four. What's your strategy? Do you attack it and try and increase your lead? Or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Oh. I love seeing stuff like that. It's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Nicely done. Four feet to the cup. It's got a chance. Wow. Back to back birdies. And what a time to make them. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. She's a top quality player, this one. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down on hole number 18 as Justin Thomas gets ready to hit. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. And with it, she's going to extend the lead on the field. And still in top spot after that hole. 31. Keep it going. Two holes to That's go, Luke. I know who I like. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Oh, that's a stunner. How well she swing it. Yeah. 
Uh, she knew that wasn't going to be super tight, but she'll take it nevertheless, especially with a couple of putts from there. Outside chance here for the birdie. I'm going to be lazy. I'm not going to use my pitch. Oh, well played. You can make this one. It's for par. Oh, nice looking putt. Well hold. She's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, what a lovely position to be in. Holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Man, people usually don't go that far on vacation. What a drive. Yes. Good aggressive play. She looks like she's going for the green. Oh, what a shot by our leader. And I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation, spot on all day. Awesome. Well, what an opportunity in front of her. This for the tournament. Ooh. Uh. Terrific shot, almost an eagle. <gasps> And in it goes, victory for our player. What a performance. Backing up the Brinks truck Yay, once again this three. week. Once again, filling it up. Trophy number six. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Accomplished. Trophy six. Trophy number six, then. Well, that'll the same methodologies I've been using for every Gilby. single round since I started. Next time. I have some tactics that I use every single time. And really the key is to tee off perfectly. That's the hardest part. Thanks, guys, for watching. Until next time. So next time, we're going to be working on trophy number seven. Have a good night.